Yep, there's a couple. One jumped off, like a knob. Yep, he's knocked. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I can't see anyone now. Two knocked. One knocked on the bike. The other one is the bike that ran off. Yeah, I believe he's to your left. By the bike where the bike parked. Scared me then, though. Hi, it's the 1975 yeah. and today I'm bringing you a PUBG video on Xbox One and I'm talking about achievements. With the game going live on the 4th of September, it's going to bring achievements to the game. And fortunately, these are going to be retrospective. So anything you unlock achievement-wise from the preview version will roll over. The first time you boot up the game after doing the update, you're probably going to get spammed with achievement after achievement after achievement. They are going to be rewarded retrospectively. Uh, this happened quite a lot with um, Elite Dangerous, so when it happens, you're the first time you boot it up, you'll just get achievement, achievement, achievement. I'm expecting to get quite a few for wins, because I've got 80 wins, so there's probably an achievement for like, I don't know, 5, 10, 15, and maybe 25. Don't know how that's going to work, but I'm probably going to unlock a lot of achievements for the amount of wins I've got. I've got over 2,000 kills, so I'm probably going to unlock a lot of achievements for kills. Um, you know, I got a kill over 500 yards. That's probably an achievement. So, the first time you switch it on after doing the update, you're going to get a lot of, lot of retroactive, retrospective achievements. Um, oh, I will just admit, I use this gameplay specifically for this bit. Uh, I love the dinner plate gun. The dinner plate gun is one of my favorite weapons. Um, but these kills with the dinner plate gun, this was a bit special. So I knocked that guy, I pushed straight away, because uh, I know there's two of them on that roof, so I know one's going to be medding that guy. And I drop a nice nade on top of them. Um, I've always been good with grenades in games, but sometimes I hit really nice nades in PUBG. And it's really satisfying, because unlike Call of Duty, I don't know pre-planned nade spots. Um, you have to kind of work it out on the fly. You know the terrain, you know different areas of the map. So it comes down to map knowledge and learning. And of course, in PUBG, the logic, if you kill someone with a grenade, their vest is fine. If you shoot them with a bullet, their vest is screwed. If you blow them up in a car or grenade them, their helmet and vest survive perfectly intact. Just crazy, but that's the way it works. Um, anyway, like I said, so achievements. You're going to earn the achievements that you unlocked during the preview version when the game goes live. This means you're going to earn a lot of the achievements straight off the bat, which to me is a great thing because um, I'd hate to have to go through it all over again. You know, some people actually like unlocking achievements I just see achievements as something that happens when I play I don't go after them I don't give monkeys about them um, I'm not an achievement hunter kind of player I'm a player player I just play the game and if I earn some unlocks and some achievements all to the good but the most important thing when I play PUBG is just having fun and playing the game and uh, hoping my teammates would save me before I bleed out uh, which fortunately they did it, this was a fun uh, squad game. It was just the three of us, me, Don and uh, Math and um, Woody joined us um, at the end of this game for the rest of the evening and uh, we actually won about three or four games that evening but this was my favourite one because I got the most kills out of any of the games and I was using the dinner plate gun which I love using um, and if you're wondering this is the base Xbox One version it's not a flashy version of the Xbox uh, and as you can see the game runs fine the new weather effects and lighting effects are really cool. You get some nice differences when you play, uh, which is great. I do love all the additions that they've made, and the strive to make this a full release, seeing some great improvements. And achievements is one of those improvements, one of those things that can make a slight difference to the game, a slight improvement. And obviously any improvement to PUBG is a good thing. Um, I'm really enjoying this game, but it you know, does need some polish, some tweaks. You know, a little bit of uh, extra here and there wouldn't go amiss. Um, poor old Don didn't make it to the end of this game. 
Um, I think two of our wins he didn't make it through. Uh, this one wasn't the one I killed him in, so that's something. Uh, the other one I killed him. <laughs> so anyway, what was I was saying. So achievements will be retrospective, which is great. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm interested to know how many achievements you unlock when the game goes live. I'm going to try and record it when I first log on after the game goes live to see how many achievements I lock that f unlock that first time I switch it on. But anyway, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoy the release version.